toys and dolls. <laughs> Nothing beats a nice shower. Hey, I'm coming in. I need to use the toilet. Hey, wait, what? Can you wait for a little bit longer? I'm just finishing up showering here. Mm, nope, nope. I don't think I can wait. I really need to use the toilet. And besides, you take forever whenever you have a shower. Uh, I feel like you're invading my personal space. What happened to privacy? And ew, are you going to use the toilet while I'm showering? Gross! Well, what can I do? There's only one washroom in the house and we have to all share. Oh, no, 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 no. Can't you just give me like, I don't know, 10 minutes? I'm almost done showering. Please? Sorry, sis. Nature calls and I really need to use the toilet. Can't wait. Sorry, really have to go. <laughs> now just sit here on the toilet doing my thing. This might take a while, so I brought in a magazine. Oh, where's my clothes? Okay, I'm done. I am getting out of the shower. Oh, I don't want to get the floor wet, so I'm gonna stop my foot on the carpet here. <sighs> oh, seriously, Crystal Star, I can't believe you couldn't give me 10 minutes. Sorry, like I said, duty calls. Oh my gosh, this handbag is so cute. Oh, oh, don't mind me. Just do your thing. Blow dry your hair. I, I don't mind. Go ahead. Oh, but I mind. Yuck, it stinks in here. Oh, spray something. Seriously, we need to move to a bigger house because we have to share one bathroom for the entire family and it can be so gross sometimes. Meh, I don't really mind. Family bonding. Oh, hey, it looks like Swag is calling me. Should I pick up? Is it weird? I'm, I am on the toilet, but I mean, it's Swag. Uh, we're best friends. I'm sure she won't mind. Okay, let me pick up this call then. Hey, girl, what's up? I'm a little busy right now on the toilet, but sup? Uh-huh. Oh, no. What? She broke her leg? Well, then we need to find another cheerleader to replace her. Yeah, let's do a posting at school and do a cheerleader tryout. Uh, only you will take a phone call while you're in the washroom, Crystal Star. Gross, let me spray something here. Ugh, yuck. Yeah, okay, well, I agree. Just post it. Anyways, I have to go on the toilet. Talk to you in a bit. Bye. Alrighty, back to my magazine here. Need more air freshener. Ooh. And over here as well. Can you, like, please hurry up? Oh, hurry up? <laughs> no way. Washroom time is an enjoyable experience. I like to take my time and enjoy myself. Thank you very much. Ugh, sis, but then I have to blow dry my hair with you in the washroom here. Ugh, this is so gross. More air freshener. Ooh, yuck. Oh, I guess I have no choice but to start blow drying my hair with my sister on the toilet in the washroom with me. Look, big sisters, you guys, you guys, look. Do you see anything different about me? Because I found Crystal Star Splash and I put on some blush. Do I look pretty? Blow dry my hair. Oh, what? Daisy's in here now too? What did you say, Daisy? I didn't hear you. I said I found Crystal Star Splash and I put makeup on myself. Do I look pretty? <gasps> Is that my new blush? I haven't even gone to use it yet. I got it for my birthday and you opened it? How many times have I told you not to touch my stuff, Daisy? Especially my makeup. I love my makeup. I am so telling mom on you about this. And don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. Now what is with all the chaos in the washroom tonight? Hi, Mommy. I wanted to look pretty, so I took Crystal Star's blush and put makeup on myself all by myself. Do you think I look pretty, Mommy? <gasps> oh my goodness. Uh, pretty is not the word I would use. <gasps> you look like... <laughs> A tomato. Okay, we're gonna have to wash all that off, honey. Mom, it's not funny. Daisy's always taking my stuff and she ruined my brand new blush that I got for my birthday. I didn't even open it yet. Yeah, Daisy's always ruining our stuff and she never gets in trouble for anything she does. Why is my hair so knotted tonight? Ugh, okay, I got the knot out. Daisy, we need to have a talk. <laughs> I can't I can't even okay okay I have to be firm Daisy we need to have a talk you can't be touching your big sister stuff but I want it to look pretty yes but it is crystal stars blush and you can't take her stuff without asking for permission okay okay I'm sorry mommy 
Well, that's not my blush that you took, so it's not me that you have to apologize to. Who do you think you should apologize to, sweetie? Um, to Santa Claus because I don't want to get cold for Christmas for being a bad girl? <clears throat> Young lady, no. Try again, please. To big sister? Mm-hmm, yes. Go apologize to your sister, please. You can't be taking your sister's stuff without asking for permission. Oh, what a mess. You owe your big sister an apology, young lady. Big sister, I'm sorry I took your blush without asking first. Please forgive me. <sighs> fine, fine, whatever. Just put it back where you found it. Mommy, I apologize to big sister already. Thank you, I saw that. Okay, now it's time to get off all this blush. With some face soap here, you look like a big red tomato, young lady. And you're too young to be wearing makeup. Makeup is for adults, okay? But Crystal Star and Uptown Girl wear makeup, and they're not adults, they're just teenagers. <laughs> well, somebody is a little smarty pants tonight. Let's wash this makeup off. Makeup is not for kids, maybe okay for teenagers, but definitely not for little girls. Don't worry, don't worry. I'll be careful not to get soap in your eyes. But we definitely need to scrub this off. Oh, you applied so much. Okay, let's rinse this off. Now we're all sharing the washroom together. That should do. Let's pat dry. Let's see, hopefully all your makeup came off. Did it all come off, Mommy? Yes, it did. Okay, but you know what? This is perfect timing because it's almost bedtime and we should also give you a shower before bed. No, can I have a bubble bath instead, please? I prefer a bubble bath, mommy. Sure, sweetie. You can have a bubble bath. Let's take off your clothes. These are dirty clothes from today. And I'm just going to put it into the laundry basket so that I will do the laundry tomorrow. Oh, we have so much dirty clothes in the laundry basket. Mom, you always give her everything that she wants. That's why she's so spoiled. Crystal's Star, instead of talking on the toilet, can you just focus on using the toilet? Yuck. <laughs> Pew! Something smells really bad, Mommy. <laughs> Sorry, you can't rush nature. I'm almost done. Just give me a few more minutes. Mom, this is why we need to move to a bigger house where we don't have to share one bathroom. Well, we just have to make do with what we have right now. And right now, it's bath time. Here you are, sweetie. Sit down. Okay, mommy. Mommy, mommy, mommy. Can you put in a lot of bubble bath soap for me? I want a lot of bubbles tonight, mommy. Okay, okay, but let's turn on the water first. And Mr. Ducky here will dispense us a lot of bubble bath soap. Okay, I think the water is not too hot and not too cold. How is it, sweetie? It's perfect, mommy. It's not too hot and not too cold. Because there's so much bubbles. <laughs> oh my gosh, stop splashing, Daisy. You're getting water everywhere. Mom, Daisy's splashing water at me. <sighs> this is what happens when you have to share a bathroom with your little sister. Bubble baths are only fun if you make a lot of bubbles. I have to splash. Mommy, look, look. There's so many bubbles in here. <laughs> I can blow the bubbles. <laughs> to make more bubbles, I have to move my arms around. Mommy, mommy, look. It's like I'm a bird on clouds. And I have to flap my arms if I'm a bird. <laughs> so many bubbles. Daisy, I told you not to splash. You're getting water everywhere. Hey guys, if you want to see more of my toy videos, then please give me a like, like, like. And don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. Mom, Daisy isn't listening to me. My little sister is so spoiled, she never listens to me. And look at all the water on the floor. Oh no, what a mess. Okay, let me clean up the floor. It's okay, we'll just put a towel here. There, nice and clean. Daisy, your big sister, Uptown Girl, is right. No splashing water, please, young lady. Okay, sorry, Mommy. I won't do it no more. Wait, that's it? You're not going to punish her? <sighs> she never gets in trouble for anything. Just because she's like the baby of the house. Ugh, it's so unfair. 
Speaking of which, since it's almost bedtime, I better go take a shower. Oh, I feel so much better. Okay, time to wash my hands and brush my teeth for bed. Where's the toothpaste? Oh, Uptown, can I have some toothpaste, please? Yep, sure. We're almost out of toothpaste, so come closer. I gotta squeeze it hard. Okay, thank you, that's enough. I'll brush my teeth so I can head to bed early, get my beauty sleep. Yeah, except it takes forever for our little sister to go to sleep. Okay, the floor is no longer wet, nice and clean. Okay, I better hop into the shower. Girls, do you think you can watch over your little sister for me? I'm just gonna be in the shower. Um, keep an eye on her, please. Mm -hmm. Okay, sure, Mom. She's quite the troublemaker, but since we're right here, I guess she can't do anything mischievous. I have to shower before bed. <laughs> oh, it's bedtime! Pinky, you need to get ready for bed too. Let's give you a shower. Come on, Pinky. You can go into the bathtub. There's still water inside. It's time for a bath. Huh? Wait, what? <gasps> no! Don't put Pinky in there. She's going to go crazy. Here you go, Pinky. It's time for your bath. Isn't it fun? There's lots of bubbles. Here, splash like this. She's already causing trouble. Oh, Pinky's going crazy. <gasps> oh no, Pinky. It's okay, it's okay. Don't run everywhere. Oh, she's getting water everywhere. <gasps> what a mess. Now there's water everywhere. Like most cats, Pinky does not like water. And she definitely hates baths. Uh-oh. There's water everywhere, Mommy. <gasps> what is going on? What happened? Well, I guess shower time is over. Look at this mess! There's water everywhere! I only stepped into the shower for 10 minutes and this happened? Girls, what happened here? I was just trying to give Pinky a bath so that she could be clean before bedtime too. But, but she got really scared and she ran all over the bathroom and got everything wet. I'm sorry, Mommy. Oh, baby, you are soaking wet. Oh, let's wrap you in a towel. We don't want you getting sick. Daisy, sweetheart, Pinky doesn't like water, so baths can be very scary for her. You shouldn't do that in the future, okay? Uh-huh. She got really scared, and I feel bad. I won't ever do that again. Good. And I'm sure she knows that you didn't mean to, but you still need to apologize to Pinky. Pinky, I'm sorry that I put you into a bubble bath. I'll never do it again. I'm sorry I scared you. Please forgive me. Good, looks like all is well. Pinky seems to have forgiven you. But there's still water everywhere, so we still need to clean up. Uptown girl, Crystal Star, could you please help me clean the washroom up? Wait, what? What just happened? She made this big mess, and now we have to clean it up? Oh, Cause she's the baby, so obviously she's mom's favorite. She never gets in trouble for anything. My little sister Daisy gets away with everything. Whenever she does something bad, all she has to do is apologize and she never gets punished for anything. And we are always left cleaning after her. Ugh, so unfair sometimes. Look at all this water. There, at least now the floor is nice and dry again. Is it like this at your house too, where your little sister gets away with everything? Let me know by pressing the like button down below if it is. And don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. One more book. Oh, another book. When are we going to be able to go to sleep? But this is one of my favorite books. You guys are going to really like it. Oh. One more story, Mommy. This is my favorite story. I love how he didn't have any friends because he was a short giraffe. But then later he grew tall and then he made lots of friends. Oh, alright, I guess one more book won't hurt. Once upon a time, there lived the shortest giraffe. His name was Eli. Unlike all of the other giraffes around him, he was very, very short. Poor Eli had no friends. No other giraffe would play with him. Your neck is too short. You're no giraffe. 
All the other giraffes made fun of Eli, so poor Eli had no friends. I feel bad for Eli, Mommy. At school, Miss Barbie says that we shouldn't make fun of others because they're different and everybody is beautiful. They should be friends with him even if he's short. Aw, yes, sweetie. Miss Barbie is right. Everyone is unique and beautiful in their own way and they should have been friends with Eli. Read the next part, Mommy. Read the part where he got taller. That's my favorite part, where he got really tall and made friends. Okay, okay. We're getting to that part. I know that's your favorite part, sweetie. Poor Eli was so short that he had no friends, so he ate and ate and ate so that he would grow big and strong. Eli would eat and eat and eat and then sleep and sleep and sleep. One day, Eli went to school and all the other giraffes saw him. Wow, who is that tall giraffe? Is that Eli? asked the other giraffes. Because now Eli was no longer short. He had the tallest neck of all. Now Eli was the tallest giraffe. And everyone wanted to be his friends. I like this part. I'm glad he made friends, Mommy. My best friends are Lillian and Sarah, and we always play together during recess and lunchtime. <laughs> yes, I do hear from Miss Barbie that you, Lillian, and Sarah are inseparable, darling. Like the Three Musketeers. But now that the book is over, it's time to go to sleep. Oh, I'm trying to sleep, but I can't sleep because the light is on. Finally, is this story over? Can we all go to sleep now, please? Your sister's right, sweetie. It's time to go to sleep now that you've had many bedtime stories. And no one can sleep unless we turn off the light. To turn off the light? But I'm scared of the dark, mommy. And I'm not sleepy yet. Can we please, please, please with a strawberry cherry on top just have one more bedtime story, please, mommy? Wait, wait, wait. What? No, I object. She's had like five bedtime stories already. This is outrageous. Oh my gosh, Mom, you are spoiling her so much. I know she's the youngest one, but she gets everything she wants all the time, and I need my beauty sleep. Otherwise, I'm going to start breaking out. Can we, Can we please, please go to sleep, sleep now? now? Hmm, your big sisters are right. You've had a lot of bedtime stories tonight. But mommy, can't we read this one just one more time? Because it's my favorite story and I really like how Barbie married her prince. Please, mommy, just one more? Because I'm not sleepy yet. I can't sleep. Oh, I almost forgot. Let's drink your hot milk. That always helps to get you sleepy. My goodness, I am getting old. I brought you some hot milk before bed and I almost forgot to give you your milk bottle. Let's drink this so that you can hopefully get sleepy. Ugh, I can't believe this is taking forever. My youngest sister is so spoiled, she takes hours to get to bed every night. And we share the same room, so we can't sleep unless she sleeps. Mommy, can you please sing me a song as I drink my milk, please, Mommy? Oh, all right, let's see what I'll sing here. I wanted to escape for a while Thought that a couple of drinks could ease my mind I've been thinking of you for two weeks straight I know that I need to get myself back in the game Don't you think it can be so unfair sometimes how much mom spoils little sister? I don't remember mom reading us this many bedtime stories when we were kids. <sighs> oh, yeah, I don't remember getting this many stories when I was a kid. And mom sings to her every night too. That's why they say the youngest is always the favorite child because they always get so spoiled. Mommy, I drank all the milk and I really like that song. Can you sing me another one? And don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. Good job, you finished your milk, but no, it is time to go to sleep now. If you don't sleep, your big sisters can't sleep either, sweetie. We have to go to sleep. Oh, okay, but if I go to sleep, can we please, please, please go to the mall tomorrow, mommy? Yes, you can come with me to the mall because I have a doctor's appointment and my doctor's clinic is inside the mall so we can do some shopping after my doctor's appointment. But we can only go if you go to sleep now. Yay! Okay! And and tomorrow, can we please go to the toy store? Because I want to buy a big dollhouse and some new dolls. You can never have too many dolls. Oh no, I don't know about that. Every time we go to the toy store, you always beg for a new doll or a dollhouse and you have a lot of dolls. But you can never have too many dolls, mommy. 
Okay, well, we'll see tomorrow if you go to sleep. Hey, honey, do you need help? You've been putting Daisy to sleep for hours now. I figure you could use a hand. I'm guessing the girls are still not asleep yet? Dad, Mom has read her like five bedtime stories, but she just won't go to sleep. Mom also sang to her and gave her a bottle of milk to drink. It's been hours and she just won't sleep. The girls are right. Daisy is being very fussy tonight. I've read her like four or five bedtime stories, sang her a song, given her hot milk to drink, but she's still not sleepy. And I think it's because we gave her a bit too much sugar before bed. Daddy, maybe I don't have to sleep anymore because I'm not sleepy. Or maybe you can help me if you sing me a song. Daddy, can you please sing me a bedtime song? What? Seriously? Another bedtime song? How many songs does mom and dad have to sing to you before you go to sleep? Oh, I can't believe how spoiled my little sister is. Oh my, okay, well let me see if I can give this a try. Okay, pumpkin, come to daddy here and I will sing you a song. Oh, please do because I am exhausted. I am out of ideas. I don't know how we're going to get her to go to sleep. I might be able to go to sleep if you sing me my favorite bedtime song, daddy. Hmm. Oh, all right. Okay. I'll sing you a bedtime song. Wish that I could find the words to describe you now. <sighs> Your dad has As I'm lying voice. next to you and the world goes like you and quiet. Sing, Daddy. Wish that I could make you see how you fit me perfectly. Every time I hear your dad sing, it's like I fall in love with him all over again. <sighs> the one who understands. Okay, that's it for tonight. It's time to go to bed now, sweetheart. Time to sleep. No, wait, 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 mommy. You sing too. Sing with daddy together. <sighs> now you want both mom and dad to sing to you? Is there no end to this nightmare? Mom, dad, you guys need to stop spoiling her. Just because she's the baby of the house, she always gets whatever she asks for. It's so unfair. I could stay forever. So just stay for a little while It's okay It just took some time Now I just know that you stay for a little while We make a good team, honey. We haven't sang that song for a while. I think since our wedding. Oh yeah, our wedding day. We sang this song in front of all of our friends. It was so beautiful. We should sing together more sometimes. Now it's time for bed. So let's tuck you in. Yep, we'll tuck you in with this blanket here. Okay, honey, you really need to go to sleep now so that your big sisters can sleep too. Oh my gosh, yes, please. Okay, but can we please turn on the light light? I'm scared of the dark. Oh, honey, why are you scared of the dark? Your sisters are just right there. But okay, here is your night light and you can have it on for tonight. But honey, there's nothing to be scared of because your sisters are going to be here with you. Okay, well, I'll just leave the night light right here. I'll just put it in the center of the room so that it'll keep the room nice and bright for everyone. Wait, <gasps> what? No! Why do you need a night light? <gasps> we are literally right <coughs> here. Hey guys, if you want to see more of my toy videos, then please give me a like, like, like. And don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. Mom, how am I going to sleep with the light on? I've already been trying to sleep for the past couple of hours. This is outrageous. Oh, I'm sorry, girls, but your little sister is being very fuzzy tonight. Don't worry, she'll fall asleep any minute now, and then you can turn off the night light when she's asleep. Mom, this is so unfair. Girls, please, please. There's no other way. We have to try to get your sister to go to sleep. We'll turn off the night light later when she's asleep. Thank you, Mommy. But, but even though there's a night light, I still get scared when it's too quiet. So can we also turn on my favorite sleepy bedtime music song? Please, Mommy. Please, Daddy. Oh, how do I say no to that cute face? Okay, Princess. We can turn on some music just for tonight so that you can go to sleep. There you go, your favorite song.
This song will be on repeat all night. It just keeps getting worse. I keep thinking it's gonna get better, but no, it just keeps getting worse. Now there's gonna be music playing all night. How are we going to sleep, Dad? Up above the world so Ugh, it's like my parents can't say no to my little sister because she's so cute. It's like she's the favorite or something because she's the youngest. Uh, why was I born the middle child? Why couldn't I have been the youngest? I want to be the baby. So unfair. No fear. Girls, girls, now, now, there's no favoritism. We love all of you girls the same. It's just that your sister is still young, so we have to cater to her a little bit more. Besides, she'll be asleep soon, and then you can turn off the music. Sweet dreams, princess. Mwah. Oh, my little girl. Mwah. Sweet dreams, don't let the bed bugs bite. But your sisters are here, so you have nothing to be scared of. Good night, Mommy. I hope you have the sweetest dreams and don't let the bed bugs bite. <laughs> Good night, Princess. If you go to sleep now, you'll be able to wake up early, fresh, and ready to go to the mall with your mommy and I. And the toy store. Mwah. Yes, yes, we can go to the toy store, Mwah. but only if you sleep. Okay, Daddy. Good night. Good night, big sisters. Good night, Crystal Star. Good night, Uptown Girl. Night. <sighs> finally, we can finally go to sleep. Thank you for being so patient, girls. Good night, dears. <sighs> Speaking of which, I think it's time we go get ready for bed too. <sighs> <sighs> You're right. It's time to go to bed. I'm exhausted, and I have to wake up tomorrow for my doctor's appointment. Okay, honey. Let's go to bed. Good night, girls. Night girl, sweet dreams. Nighty night. I can't sleep. Crystal Star? Crystal Star? Uptown girl? Uptown girl? Big sisters? Are you guys asleep? Big sisters? Are you guys asleep? Uh, clearly not. What's wrong now? Daisy, what's wrong? You have to go to sleep. I want to, but I can't sleep. Can you please read me a bedtime story? Please, pretty please, big sister, with a strawberry cherry banana pie on top? Oh, she's giving us the puppy face. Oh, alright, looks like we have no choice. We can't sleep unless Daisy sleeps. Okay, one more bedtime story and then you have to promise you're going to go to sleep, okay? Our mom read you this book earlier, so I'm just gonna read it to you again. Once upon a time in a faraway land, there lived a beautiful princess. Her name was Ginger and she has beautiful long hair. Like Rapunzel from Tangle, because I love Rapunzel's hair. Yes, yes, just like Rapunzel. Was she also locked up in a castle too? Daisy, you know this story. You've heard it a million times. <sighs> it's always like this. Every night before bed, my little sister gets everything she wants and mom and dad always spoils her because she's the favorite, because she's the baby of the house. But you know what? We spoil her too because we're her big sisters and we love her. Because just look at that cute puppy face whenever she pouts, Uptown Girl and I will give in and give her whatever she wants because she's our baby sister. So like, even if sometimes we feel it's unfair, what can we do? We love our baby sister so much. Big sisters, can you please sing me a bedtime song? Oh, alright. You find happiness out there.
guys, if you want to see more of my toy videos, then please give me a like, like, like. The entire couch to myself. Sweet! My parents and my little sister are out shopping, so I can finally watch some television and catch up on all my favorite shows. So nice to finally have the TV to myself. Mm, no, I don't want to watch that. Watch that already. Oh, this looks good. Ooh, Barbie dance competition? Right on. This is my kind of show. I'm just gonna sit back and relax. Really hope I'm gonna be able to finish this entire show before mom and dad comes home. <sighs> Seriously, this is the life. Yeah. I know I'm not supposed to put my feet on the table, but uh, it's so comfortable. Okay, I better not. Oh, what are you watching? It's so loud. Can you like turn down the volume or something? And look at this mess. Oh, little sister always leaves her toys lying around everywhere and mom never says anything. Uh, oh, 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 my heels, my heel. I don't want it to get stuck on my shoes. Ugh, look at all those toys just lying around everywhere. Mom is always making us clean our room, but yet little sister can leave her toys everywhere around the house. The entire living room is full of her toys. It's so unfair how my little sister gets away with everything just because she's the youngest of us. And why do I have to be the oldest? It's so unfair. I never get away with anything. Look at this mess. Oh, are you watching the Barbie dance competition? I already watched this episode. Can we like change the channel and watch something else? Because I already watched this. You're so late. Meow. 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 Mm. Meow. Meow. Hi, Pinky. Do you want to watch TV with me? Oh, you want to be pet, don't you? You are such a snuggle bug cat. Aww. Oh, you're so cute! Sorry sis, looks like Pinky voted and she wants to watch this show with me, so we're hanging out. Meow? Oh come on, The Bachelorette is on and I really want to find out who she chooses and who she eliminates this week. Seriously, just watch your show another time. Let's watch The Bachelorette! Meh. We've watched every season of The Bachelor and The Bachelorette and they never pick anyone that we like, so... No, I'm gonna watch Barbie dance competition. <laughs> but I'm older and mom left me in charge. So what? I woke up early so that I could watch TV. You snooze, you lose. You don't give me the remote. I'm gonna tell mom that you got a C- minus on the last math test. <gasps> you wouldn't. I'm gonna tell mom that you got a boyfriend. Ugh, whatever, I'm just gonna take the remote. My friends are going to be talking about the show at school and I don't wanna miss out on the combo. Hey, I was watching that! No, give me back the remote! No! It's mine! Give it! No, you give it! Let go! I'm gonna tell your friends that you pick your nose. I don't pick my nose! Yeah, but they don't know that. They'll believe me. Hey! Crystal Star, let go! You're so annoying! Fine, you want war? Well, I'm gonna tell your friends that you have sweaty armpits. Oh, no you wouldn't! Yes, I would! Let go! Hey girls, we're home. What is with all that noise? Hi! Hey guys, if you want to see more of my toy videos, then please give me a like, like, like! And don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell! If you don't let go, you're gonna regret it. I ain't gonna regret nothing. You let go. <sighs> girls, girls, please stop fighting. Can I ever come home to peace and quiet? Mine, no mine, mine, mine. Oh, hey, mom, can you tell Crystal Star to let me watch my show? No, I'm not getting involved in this. You girls are old enough to figure your stuff out yourself. See, mommy, I never fight. That's why I'm a good girl and I deserve new toys, right? Big sister, big sister, look. Mommy and daddy took me to the mall today and we had ice cream and yogurt and lunch and we got a lot of stuff for me. Yeah, I think we might have gone overboard with that. Look at all of these bags. I knew I would regret going to the toy store with your little sister, but I couldn't resist her puppy face. <sighs> and now look, bought so much stuff at the mall. What? This is so unfair. You bought her toys? I should have went to the mall today. Maybe I could have gotten a new outfit or something. Mom, it's so unfair. You're always buying toys and dolls for little sister. She's so spoiled. I know, I know. She does have a lot of toys, but girl, she also gets a lot of your handy-downs. So some of those toys are yours. And the toys that we bought today here will be especially for her. I think she deserves new toys instead of just getting your handy down, girls. Mm. Mom, I feel like you're always taking baby sister's side in every argument. I promise I'm not. 
we went to the toy store and it was really big and I wanted everything there but mommy was like no I can only pick a few items so I got some new dolls oh and I got a big new dollhouse yeah we got a big dollhouse it's heavier than I thought hopefully we'll have room for this gigantic dollhouse thank you daddy it's a really pretty dollhouse as soon as I saw it I knew that I had to have it there's so many pretty furnitures and the bedrooms are huge wait 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 hold up hold up you got her another dollhouse she already has a dollhouse this one right here that she hasn't even played with so why does she need another dollhouse when she already has one but, but that's a handy down dollhouse it's your dollhouse it's not mine and it's all sticky you were eating candy and you got stickiness all on the door i want my own dollhouse and my dollhouse is even bigger than your dollhouse even though i still like my dollhouse i'm still gonna play with it it's just that it's too small for some of my dolls whatever it's just candy you can just wipe it off i can't believe you got a bigger dollhouse than my old dollhouse <laughs> na 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 you're just jealous we went to the mall and we even had ice cream and then mommy took me shopping for some new clothes and i got this whole new outfit it's really pretty and i got some dolls and i also got a new teddy bear this is the best day ever mommy bought me a new outfit it's really pretty and she got me matching skirts and boots. This shirt is so fuzzy and warm. And this skirt matches it. And also these boots. It's a complete pink set. Then afterwards, we went to the toy store and look at all the toys I got. I got this new Barbie doll where I can style her hair. And then I got myself a fairy doll. She has wings. And then I got myself a truck so that um, I already had the Barbie car, so I wanted a truck. Oh, and look in this bag, I got this really cute soft teddy bear pillow. It's so cute. And then I also got Ariel. I always wanted Princess Ariel and now I have her. Uh, that's all. Ta-da! OMG, look at all the stuff that you got. How much did mom and dad spend on you today? <gasps> You got all that stuff and it's not even Christmas yet? <laughs> Life is so unfair. <sighs> see, see, look. My new dollhouse is way bigger than my old dollhouse. This way, I'll be able to fit my dolls because my dolls are really tall. I really liked my old dollhouse, but all the doors are really sticky. And it's really small. There's just not enough bedrooms. See, it's way smaller than my new dollhouse. Even though I still like it, I'll still play with it. But look, ta-da! This room is so big, and look at all the furniture that comes with the dollhouse. My dolls will fit in here. And also, this dollhouse even comes with a dining room table and a kitchen, and there are stairs to go up. There's even a second floor. My other dollhouse is only one floor. This is way bigger. Mm, we get it, we get it. Stop rubbing it in our face. Seriously, we're just gonna have to accept that our little sister gets whatever she wants from our parents just because she's the youngest and they think she's adorable. Whatever, I'm getting back to my show. And don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. What? No, I didn't agree to that. Forget your stupid show. Come on, let's watch The Bachelorette. I have the remote. No, I don't want to watch The Bachelorette show. Besides, I didn't even watch last episode. I'm not going to know what happened. Just let me finish my show and then you can watch yours. Give me back the remote. No, my show's going to be over. No, then let me watch it now and then you can hear it from your friends. No, give me the remote. No. Oh, this is not the relaxing weekend that I was really hoping for. Girls, girls, please don't fight. You girls are giving me a headache. I just want to have a relaxing weekend. What are we watching? Ew, they look funny. I don't want to watch this. I want to watch Disney Princess. Mom, can I watch my favorite cartoon? Crystal Star, can I watch Tangle? Oh, or maybe Cinderella. Oh, no, 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 Sleeping Beauty. That's my favorite. Oh, wait, no, I like The Little Mermaid, too. Oh, can we just watch any Disney Princess show? No, we're 
not gonna watch Disney Princess. You can watch that anytime. My show airs right now and I can only watch it live. So we're watching The Bachelorette. Um, I wanna watch TV and watch Disney Princess, but Crystal Star won't let me. Please let me watch Disney Princess, please. <laughs> No, 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 don't cry, don't cry, not the waterworks. Girls, girls, can you please just let your little sister watch her favorite show because she needs to eat something. Uh, we need to feed her a bottle and she needs to take her nap because she's getting very cranky. Oh, <laughs> oh, this is so annoying. She got to go to the mall and get all of her favorite toys and get a new outfit and everything. And now she comes home and she just cries a little and she also gets to watch her shows. So unfair, Mom! Well, she'll just be watching for a bit, right, honey? Uh -huh, I'm just gonna watch for a little bit. I always watch Disney Princess when I'm drinking my bottle of milk. Just for a little bit, girls. I promise. Your sister will be taking her nap soon. Nah, uh I'm not sleepy at all. I'm gonna stay awake. I'm gonna stay awake. I'm gonna stay awake forever. I know it's hard girls, being a big sister can be really hard sometimes, there are a lot of sacrifices, but please, uh, she needs to watch something so that she can take her nap. Mm, fine, whatever, just take the remote, I'm just gonna find out from my friends what happens at school, and I'm not gonna be part of any of the conversations then. Here, just take it, just take it, go watch your Disney princess show. Thank you Crystal Star, you're the bestest big sister ever. What do you guys want to watch? Do you want to watch Tango? Or do you want to watch The Little Mermaid? Or Cinderella? Or Beauty and the Beast? Or uh, The Princess and the Frog? <gasps> I know! Let's watch Mulan! Yeah, today is a Mulan day! Mm, we don't care! We've seen all of these Disney princess shows a million times with you already! Yeah, just play anything! This is my favorite part! I wonder what happens next! You know what happens next because you've seen this a million times. Gotta admit, the songs are really catchy. Now that's the spirit. Yup, sharing is caring. Oh, but look at all this mess on the floor. Daisy, what have we talked about cleaning up after yourself when you're playing? Look at all of these toys. I'll clean it up after I finish watching Mulan, Mommy. <gasps> There's even more toys back here. Oh my 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 my, why did we buy you a new dollhouse and a bunch of new dolls when you already have so much toys? Oh, the house is gonna be covered with toys at this rate. Hey guys, if you want to see more of my toy videos, then please give me a like, like, like. <laughs> Let's see what's going on in the world today. Hmm. Nothing beats coffee and the morning newspaper. <laughs> Ooh, something smells real good. <gasps> Pinky is on the table again. Honey, we have talked about this. If you see Pinky get on the table, you have to tell her to get off. Right, right. Pinky, get off the table, please. No, no, Pinky. And girls, it's time for breakfast. Come down for breakfast, please. Girls? I don't know what the girls do every morning, but they take forever in the washroom. Our house seems to be getting smaller and smaller as our family grows. I think if we have another child in the future, honey, we're going to have to move to a bigger house. We don't have enough washrooms in this house. I could not agree with you more. Last night was a complete nightmare getting ready for bed. I need to use the toilet. Hey, wait, what? Do I look pretty? A what? Daisy's in here now too? Mommy, can you put in a lot of bubble bath soap for me? <laughs> oh my gosh, stop splashing, Daisy. You're getting water everywhere. And for a bath. Huh? Hmm? Wait, what? <gasps> no! Here you go, Pinky. It's time for your bath. Oh, you're getting water everywhere. <gasps> what a mess. It was chaotic to say the least. We definitely need to buy a new house if we're going to keep growing our family. There's not enough washrooms for all of us. And I would love to have another baby. And Daisy could use a little sister. But I also do think we need to learn to discipline the kids and Pinky a lot more. Like no going on the table, Pinky. <clears throat> Pinky, this is not your cat bed. Pinky. <clears throat> 
You know better than to be on the dining room table. Meow. Meow. No, no cute face. Get off the table, please. That's better. Good girl. No cats on the dining room table. This is where we eat. And we don't want to have any cat hair in our food. Ugh, yuck. Almost forgot about my coffee. Oh good, it's still hot. Oh, that's good coffee. Oh, there's cat hair in my coffee. Yup, yup, I remember now why Pinky is no longer allowed on the dining table. See, see, that's exactly what I mean. I don't want cat hair in my food. You're right, you're right, honey. In the future, we will learn to discipline the girls and Pinky better. Now, speaking of the girls, where are they? Breakfast is getting cold. <sighs> the eggs and the bacon are getting cold. This is no good. I didn't work hard all morning for the eggs and the bacon to be cold. Girls, come down, please. If you don't come down right now, you're not going to be eating breakfast today. Mom, Dad, tell Crystal Star to let me use the washroom. She's been hogging it all morning and she won't let me in. <sighs> hey guys, if you want to see more of my toy videos, then please give me a like, like, like. And don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. I haven't even washed my face yet. Do you guys have siblings at home? Do you have to share everything with your siblings? I have to share my clothes, the bathroom, the bedroom. Literally, I'm always last place. Why? I hate being a middle child. Good morning, rise and shine. Ooh, something smells good. And Uptown Girl, I heard you complaining and tattletaling to mom and dad on me, but it's not my fault. If you wanted the washroom, you should have woke up earlier. The early bird gets the worm. <laughs> Na 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 na. Mommy, mommy, look! Big sister, help me tie up my hair today. How does it look? Ooh, very cute, sweetie. But sit down, please. It's time for breakfast now, girls. I want to sit in the middle. I want to sit in the middle. My seat, my seat. This is my favorite seat because it's right in the middle. <laughs> okay, just about time. The eggs and the bacon are starting to get cold. Crystal Star and Daisy wanted bacon, so here are your plates, girls. Here you go. Let me put it on the table. Mmm, bacon, my favorite. Mommy, did you make it extra crispy? And I also like it when my eggs look pretty. Why do you care what the eggs look like when you're just going to eat it anyways? Mommy, I don't want this round plate. I want the hardship plate. And I don't like my egg. I can't eat this. I can't eat this. My egg doesn't look pretty enough. Crystal Star's egg is prettier. And I want the heart-shaped plate, Mommy. I don't like this plate. I want the heart-shaped plate and the prettier egg. <sighs> Stop being so fussy, little sister. It looks exactly the same. If you eat it, it's just going to go into your stomach anyways. Who cares what it looks like? Just eat your breakfast already. Sometimes you can just be so spoiled, Daisy. Uh-uh, I'm not spoiled. I just like my eggs to be pretty. And that heart-shaped plate is my plate. You know my favorite shape is a heart. I want this plate. Give me the plate. Oh, girls, girls, it's way too early to be fighting. We can never seem to have a peaceful morning together. But Daisy, sweetheart, your sister is right. Once you eat it, it doesn't matter what the eggs look like. And Crystal Star, you're also wrong too. You are the eldest sister. So can't you just let your little sister have her heart-shaped plate this one time? But mom, it's just not fair. It's not fair. She always gets everything that she wants all the time. She's always touching my things without asking for permission and then ruining them like she ruined my blush yesterday. Yeah, well, she also ruined my lipstick yesterday too. But we're never going to be able to eat breakfast if you don't give her what she wants. So it's not a big deal. Just let her have her stupid heart-shaped plate. <sighs> Fine, I don't want to argue all morning. Okay, here, you can have this plate then. Here's your heart-shaped plate and your perfect egg. Thanks, big sister. You're the bestest. And I'm really sorry that I dropped your blush yesterday. I'm really, really sorry and I won't touch it again. Oh, okay. Well, I'm glad that's resolved. Hmm, I'm going to eat this bacon first because it's nice and crispy. Mm, it's really crispy. 
but mommy, tomorrow if you make bacon, can you make my bacon even more crispier? I like it when it's extra crunchy, and I want my bacon hotter. No bacon for me this morning. I'm having a sausage. Mm, looks so good. I love bacon, but I also love sausages. Which one do you guys like? Do you prefer bacon for breakfast or sausages? Oh, that does look really yummy. I want a sausage. Mine, mine, mine. Um, excuse me. What are you doing, little sister? This is my sausage. You yeah. wanted bacon this morning. Remember, you told mom you wanted bacon. Uh, 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 I already ate my bacon. I want sausages now, mommy. I didn't get a sausage. Can I please eat a Tom Girl sausage? Mommy, please? Daisy, you didn't even finish eating your bacon yet. See, Mom? See? This is what I mean. She always wants whatever that we have. <sighs> now there's going to be another fight. Oh, dear. Well, not my problem. I'm just going to eat my toast quietly over here. Hmm? If you want to see more of my toy videos, then please give me a like, like, like. And don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. Uh -huh. Mommy, it's not fair. I want to eat some sausages. Uh -huh. Until girl won't let me have a bite of her sausage. Uh -huh. Mommy! Oh, you're so noisy. It's too early for this. Stop crying. Mom, Daisy's yelling at the top of her lungs. Uh, stop her. Ugh, so annoying, Daisy. Like you said earlier, it's not a big deal. I gave her my heart-shaped plate and my eggs. So why don't you just give her your sausage or else she won't stop crying. Uh, no way. It's not the same thing. You gave her your plate and you got her plate so you still got to eat eggs and bacon at the end of the day if i give her my sausage i won't have a sausage to eat no way she's not getting my sausage girls girls why are you girls fighting already it's too early for this <sighs> can't we ever have a peaceful breakfast okay daisy you can have mommy sausages here good thing that i haven't ate it yet but Daisy, sweetheart, next time when mommy asks you if you want bacon or sausage for breakfast and you choose bacon, then you have to eat bacon, okay? You can't take your sister's food. I love bacon. I did want to eat bacon this morning, but then after seeing Big Sister's sausage, I also want sausage. Thank you, mommy. <sighs> she got what she wanted again. She always gets everything she wants. It's so unfair, right? Ugh. Our little sister is just too spoiled. Sometimes I think she's the favorite child. This is so unfair, mom. Yeah, mom, this is so unfair. <laughs> Whatever, no news crying over spilled milk. Might as well just eat my bacon. <laughs> this is really good. Oh, mom, you don't have to pick me up after school today. My friends and I are going to do our homework together at her house, so I'll just be going over to her house after school. We have so much homework this semester. Oh, oh, I'm so proud, sweetheart. You have been taking your studies so seriously these days. And honey, what are your plans today? Mm, one moment. I woke up really early to make breakfast, so I'm so hungry. One second. Well, today I do have a doctor's appointment. I feel like there's something a little off of my body, so I'm going to the doctor. Mommy, are you feeling sick? Is the doctor going to give you a needle shot? Daddy, is the doctor going to give mommy a big needle shot? No, no, sweetheart. Your mom's just going in for a checkup. No shots today. Okay, well, that's our breakfast. Let's start heading out now. But I'm not done eating yet. I don't want to go to the doctor. Doctors are scary. Aw, honey, doctors aren't scary. You'll see. Okay, girls, if you're done eating, give me your forks and knives. We're going to wash the dishes and head out for the day. And don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. Are you here to see Dr. Sparkles? She's my mom. Oh, huh? Is someone talking to us? Oh, oh, sorry. Hi, yes. Um, yes, yes, I'm here to see Dr. Sparkles. And what is your name, please? And what time is your appointment? Mommy, are we done yet? Can we go home yet? There are so many people.
people here. Why don't we go next time? We can go get ice cream first. If we have time, maybe we can get ice cream after. But mommy has to see the doctor, sweetheart. Oh, look over there. There's a children's play area. Look at all of those toys. And there's a little friend over there that you can play with too. Oh, she looks like she's my age. Okay, I'll go over there and make friends with her and play with her then. I, I like toys. Sorry about that. Um, yes, I believe I have an appointment at 1 p.m. with Dr. Sparkles and it should be under Tulips. Tulips first name and Diamond last name. Tulips Diamond. Okay, let me see if I can find you. Tulips Diamond at 1 p.m. Oh, here you are. I finally found you. Great. My mom, I mean, Dr. Sparkles will see you in a moment. We're running a little behind right now, so please have a seat in the waiting area. Okay, sure, no problem. Oh wow, there's a lot of people today. Yeah, my mom said it's a really busy day today. There are a lot of patients to see, and we're missing um, a receptionist and another doctor because they're sick. So we're understaffed. Oh my, I see. I guess it is flu season. I guess I better sit over there and wait with the others. Oh, did someone call my name? No, I think it was just my imagination. Okay, well, I'm done reading this magazine. I managed to read an entire magazine and it's still not my turn yet. <sighs> I guess I'll have to read another magazine. Ooh, the clothes in this magazine is really pretty. Maybe if I have time afterwards, I can go to the mall and check out these stores. 24K DJ! 24K DJ! I'm bored! Are we almost done? Can we go home yet? Why is mommy not back yet? Where did mommy go? And when do we get to see our baby sister? Oh golly, that was like a hundred questions in one. I forgot all of it already. Um, mom's just still getting her checkup and we're gonna go in there and meet our newborn baby sister soon. Just have to wait a bit longer. It's a really busy day right now at the hospital. Maybe we should go check on mommy to make sure she's okay because she's gone in there for a really long time and I want to see our new baby sister. I'm sure she's fine and we'll be able to meet our newborn baby sister soon. Why don't you go back to the children's play area and play? There's a lot of toys over there and there you have a new friend to play with now. Oh wow so many toys. Hi my name is Daisy and I'm three or am I four? I don't remember, I forgot, but I'm three or four. What's your name? Do you want to play together? There are a lot of toys and dolls here. Hi Daisy, I think we're the same age. Do you like to play house? There's a lot of toys and dolls in that box we can play with. Uh-huh, playing with toys and dolls is my favorite. I have tons of dolls at home, and I have a big, 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 big gigantic dollhouse in my room. You do? Me too. But this dollhouse over here is really nice. Okay, let's go play. There's a big box over here. You can pick which dolls you want and which horse or pets you want for your doll. I'm going to pick this one because she's my favorite. She has nice long hair and I like her long hair. I named her Charlotte. And look, she has really nice long lashes. Oh, she's really pretty. Yeah, you can go pick your doll over there. There's more dolls in the box. Oh, there's so many things to choose from. What's this? <laughs> it spins when you blow on it. Okay, I'm going to take this horsey because my doll's going to have a horse. And I'm also going to take this dog because she also has a pet. This dog's really big though. Hey, look, there's another horse in the box. Does your doll want a horse too? You can have this one. I'm going to pick this doll because I like her bathing suit. Let's switch horses for a little bit so that my doll can see what it feels like to ride on your horse. Okay, that's fine. Oh, 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 skip it gently, hurry. Oh, oh. I think my leg is broken. It really hurts, Skipper. Can you roll me more gently? Ow, 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 ow. I'm rolling as gently as I can. Oh, my leg really hurts. I think the bone is poking out. I think it's broken. What if I'll never be able to walk or run again? Don't worry, Stacy. You're being too dramatic. Now, where's Barbie and Chelsea? 
We're here at the hospital, so the doctor will fix you and Chelsea right up. Don't worry, when I was younger, I broke my leg and my arm once too. Oh Chelsea, please stop crying. We're already here. We're here at the emergency room. We're at the hospital. I'm just gonna check you in. It hurts so much, Barbie. I think I broke both of my arms. I'm never gonna skateboard again. Hi there, I'm available over here at this table. Do you have an appointment? Um, oh no, um no, we don't have an appointment. My two sisters, they were riding their skateboard when they bumped into each other and I think they broke their arm or their leg. Is there a doctor that can check them by any chance? And can the doctor fix my arms and make it stop hurting? And can I see a doctor right away, Barbie? Ask for a doctor right away. I'll try my best, but look at all of these people. They've been waiting here before us for a really long time. It's okay with me. You can go first. Yeah, yours look like a really big emergency. So it's okay with me too if you want to go first. Oh really? Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, the people here are so nice, Chelsea. Luckily, they're letting us go first. Hi, because you don't have an appointment and it's an emergency, I'm going to need you to fill out some paperwork. Um, please fill this out for both your sisters. Oh, right. Okay. Oh wow, there are 10 pages front and back. Oh, and so many questions. Mm, these questions are hard too. Okay, well, I'll try to fill it out as best as I can. Mm, do I know Stacy and Chelsea's health care number? Uh, I don't know some of the answers to these questions. Who is our family doctor again? Mm, uh, I'll just skip that question. I'll fill out everything else. Hi there, I think I'm done. I filled it out to the best of my abilities. Okay, thank you. Pop baby, hey girl, is that you? Oh, finally a friend that I can talk with. I've been sitting here for ages, all by myself, getting bored. Oh, hey 24K DJ, what are you doing here? Oh, are you meeting your newborn baby sister? My mom actually also just had a baby, so I'm here to meet my newborn baby sister too. What a coincidence! No kidding, hey? Well, you have to take a picture of your newborn baby sister and send it to me later. And I'll do the same. Yeah, and maybe in the future, our baby sisters can have play dates. Is this your first new baby sister? No, I already have another sister. She's over there, playing by the children's area. Oh, she's so cute! She looks just like you! Uh, she looks like me because she copies me at everything. Like, everything I wear, whatever I do, she's always copying me. Hi there, are you Stacy? And are you Chelsea? My mom, I mean, um, the doctor, uh, Dr. Sparkles, will see you now. Uh, just please follow me right this way. Oh, okay, thank you. Skipper, come on, hurry, wheel in Stacy. It's our turn to see the doctor now. Oh, that was a lot faster than I thought. Gently, Skipper, gently. I know, I know. Hey guys, if you want to see more of my toy videos, then please give me a like, like, like. And don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. Hi there, is there a Miss Tulip's Diamond? A Miss Tulip's Diamond. Please follow me. Oh, hi, yes, that's me. Come on, sweetheart, it's time to go see the doctor with mommy now. Hi there, so what brings you to me today? And mommy says she feels a little different. Can you please fix her, doctor? Oh, okay, so tell me what is going on? What are you feeling that you feel is a bit different? For the last week, I've been feeling extremely nauseous. And not only nauseous, but I feel like I have no energy. You know, I don't know what's wrong though. Oh, and I'm always hungry. I'm always craving something. I have so many cravings for food these days. And it also feels like my emotions are also all over the place. I'm moody a lot. Um, and it's not my time of the month right now, so I can't explain why any of these symptoms are happening. I don't even know what's wrong, too, half the time. See, I see. Well, let me listen to your heartbeat while we wait for your results to come back. Mm hmm. Well, your heart sounds very stable and strong. I don't hear any problem, but I know I'm going through something, like I know it's not in my head. I just feel something is different, like it's off. 
Well, you always have to trust a woman's intuition. Mom, I mean, Dr. Sparkles? I got the results here from the test. Here, I'll give it to the doctor to check and she'll explain to you. Perfect, thank you. Oh, great. I'm so nervous though. I wonder what it could be. I hope it's nothing serious. I hope I don't have anything serious. Oh, okay, okay. Just breathe, relax. I'm sure I'll be fine. Okay, what is it, doctor? I see. Mmm. I see. Mmm. I see. Mmm. What? What does that mean? Is something wrong with me? Am I sick? Not at all. Congratulations. You're just pregnant. All of those symptoms are symptoms of pregnancy. I suspected that those were early signs of pregnancy, but I just didn't want to say anything before the results came out. <gasps> pregnant? What? Oh, that is such a surprise. We've been talking about it and trying for months now. Honey, did you hear that? Mommy's pregnant. Yes, did you? Where is your daughter? What? She was here just a moment ago. Oh no, where did she run off to? Oh dear, we have a loose toddler in the hospital. We have a loose toddler in the hospital. Oh no, she must have gotten bored and ran off. I guess once we have another baby, this is gonna be another thing to take care of and worry about. I gotta go find my daughter. Now for me to figure out what you've been feeling, I'm going to um, take some blood from you. Are you okay with needles? Um, I'm kind of terrified of needles. Oh, my stomach hurts. I guess since I do want to find out what's going on with my body and why I'm feeling all these symptoms, I guess I'll have to run these tests. Okay, sure. I've been doing this for many years. Trust me, it won't hurt. Now, are you right-handed or left-handed? I'm right-handed. Okay, then please give me your left arm. You'll just feel a little poke. Mm. See, that wasn't so bad, was it? Now I'm going to send your results to the lab and then I'll call you in about two weeks to let you know the results. Okay, thank you, doctor. Okay, now for happier news, it's time for you to meet your newborn baby. Dazzle, honey, can you please grab the baby? Okay, the baby's name is Polly, right? And she's in the nursery. Okay, I'll be right back, mom. This is my favorite room in the hospital. They are so cute! Oh, these babies are so cute! Oh, their moms are gonna be so happy to meet them! Let's bring these babies to meet their mommies and big sisters! I'm back with the baby! Why do I feel like something is a little off? Here's your baby! Oh, be sure to support her neck! Baby's necks are fragile! Thank you! Oh, she's so cute! Oh, look at that face! But, um, hmm, this is my baby, right? I'm not holding someone else's baby. You're sure this is my baby? Because, um, something seems a bit, um, oh, is that my new baby sister? She is so cute. But her eye color is different from our entire family. She has brown eyes. Well, the doctor said that this is our baby. Mm, okay, oh, can I hold her? She is just so precious and so adorable, but the only thing is, everyone in her, our family have blue eyes. It's kind of like our trademark, and this baby has brown eyes. Um, can you double check just to make sure this is really my baby? Mmm, I better check the chart just to make sure. Something feels a little off to me, and we don't want the moms to take home the wrong baby. Okay, what does this chart say? Mmm, mm. Oh, oh, no, Dazzle, I think you got the wrong baby. This isn't her baby. Oh my goodness, what a mixed up. No, 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 I am so sorry. This is not your baby. This isn't my baby? This isn't my baby sister? I am so sorry. No, it's not. There must have been a mixed up in the nursery. My daughters are helping me today at the hospital, but they're really still just teenagers. They're doing a, a school assignment to help out, and they must have made a mistake. Oh, where's my baby sister? And where's my baby? Mommy, 
I've been waiting for you all day. I met a friend earlier and we played together. We played with dolls and toys. Oh, where's, where's my new baby sister? I want to meet her. <laughs> That's nice, sweetheart. You'll meet your baby sister soon. Yeah, little sister, just wait a bit longer. The doctor just went to grab our newborn baby sister. She'll be coming back any minute now. Oh, I am so excited. I can't even contain my excitement. And her name is going to be JD. Your father and I have already decided on the name. Hi there, thanks for waiting. I got the baby right here. She's so cute. Um, who wants to hold her? Hey guys, if you want to see more of my toy videos, then please give me a like, like, like. And don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. She's a little bit of a crier, but I've managed to get her to stop crying. Hi, hi JD. I'm Lil DJ. I'm going to be your big sister. Oh, she's precious. Do you want to hold her? Oh, she's so cute. It took me a little longer to get her here because she was crying a little earlier. So I had to try to make her stop crying first. But now she's really happy. I bet she's really happy to meet her mom and big sisters. Oh, yeah, she's so cute when she's giggling. Oh. Um, the only thing is... Mom, why doesn't she look like us? Our eyes are blue and our eyes are brown. Mm, yeah, are, are you sure this is our baby? She's very cute, but she looks very different from the rest of the family. What do you mean? I think she looks exactly like me. <sighs> oh, little DJ. Neolicious, no, no, wait, we got the wrong baby. What? Here, here's the right baby. We gave the wrong babies to the wrong moms. What? How did that happen? Oh, this is so embarrassing. Uh, I guess that makes sense. We better swap the babies. I am so sorry, ma'am. Let's swap babies. This is your baby right here. Oh, okay. Thank you. I'm going to bring this baby to meet her new mom and big sister. Sorry about the mix-up. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. Is this my new baby sister, mommy? Is she really our baby? Maybe she's not the right baby as well. But she does have my eyes. See, we both have brown eyes. I can't believe they made such a big mistake. But I'm pretty sure this baby is our baby sister. Because she looks just like you when you were younger, little DJ. Oh, she's so cute, Mom. Can I hold her, please? Yes, but please make sure you support her head. Baby's head are still very weak. You gotta support her head and support her neck because baby's necks and head are really weak. Okay, I got it. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. She's smiling at me. Now we are one complete family. Oh, what a picture perfect family. And whew, well, we fixed our mistake. That was a close call. I'm back, I'm back. Sorry, sorry. This is the right baby. I am so sorry for the mix up. And I'm pretty sure we got it right this time. Uh, let me just check the chart. Um, yes, yes, this is the correct baby. And she has blue eyes just like yours. They're really beautiful. She's so cute. Is that my baby? Is that truly my baby? Oh, she has my eyes. Oh, she's definitely my baby. Did I look like that when I was a baby, Mom? Yes, you look just like this when you were a baby. The baby that we saw earlier was really cute. But I'm so glad that we're finally meeting the new baby sister. She's really cute too. Oh, Mom, can I hold her please? Of course, sweetheart. Here you go. She's crying. Oh no, Mom, she's crying. What do I do? Just rock back and forth gently. Like this? Yes, yes. Oh, she's not crying anymore. Oh, now she's like laughing at me. She's so cute. Oh, look at those chubby cheeks. And her hands are so small. And look at those little teeny weeny feet. Oh, babies are just so adorable. Oh, that was a close call. But what I wonder is, how did this mix-up even happen? Da, 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 da. Ooh, babies. I love babies. <gasps> so cute. <laughs> I'll play with you too. Go. Go tickle tickle. Go tickle tickle. Uh -huh. <laughs> These babies are so cute. Hmm, what does that say? I can't really read that because.
because I'm only three. Oh wait, am I four? I don't know what your names are. I wonder what your names will be. Would you like me to give you a name? I will name you Strawberry. And I will name you Grapes. <laughs> Oops, I accidentally made these fall down. I'll help put it back up for you guys. Um, which one of you guys have this tag? Uh, I think it's yours. Sorry, I was touching and I dropped it by accident. But don't worry, I'll put it back on for you. And now for the other side. There, all done. Daisy, there you are. I've been looking everywhere for you. Oh, you had me so worried. Oh, my baby girl. Oh, you can't be running off like that, okay, Daisy? You had me worried sick. Okay, Mommy's done her checkup. We can go for ice cream now. Hey, really? Really? We're gonna go for ice cream? Sorry, Mommy. I won't run off again in the future. I promise. Mm-hmm. Okay, you promise. Oh, are those newborn babies? Oh, they're so cute. Bye, guys. Okay, let's go for ice cream now. This is my favorite room in the hospital. They are so cute. All these babies are so cute. Their moms are going to be so happy to meet them. Let's bring these babies to meet their mommies and big sisters. Hey guys, if you want to see more of my toy videos, then please give me a like, like, like. Hey guys, if you want to see more of my toy videos, then please give me a like, like, like. Mmm, smells good, honey. Oh, I'm just starving. Can't wait for dinner. Oh, I'm finally done dinner. Since we have such a picky eating family, I had to make everyone their favorite dish, so it took me a while. Nobody wants to eat the same thing in this family. Our girls are quite picky eaters, but I'm not a picky eater. I would have ate anything that you cooked for me. <laughs> oh, everything smells so good. Ooh, which one's my dish? Is it this one? Or is it that one? Or this one? I will really eat anything, honey. It all looks so good. I know, I know, I shouldn't spoil our girls, but ever since they were a baby, I've been making their favorite dishes for dinner and lunch. I know I shouldn't, but I always customize it to what they like the most. Well, if you ask me, I think that you are a very loving and patient mother. But now that our girls are more grown up, you don't have to spoil them anymore. Yeah, you're right, but I guess just breaking habits is harder than it looks. Okay, dinner's ready. We got forks on the table. Okay, time to call the girls. It's dinner time. Girls, come down for dinner, please. Daddy's really hungry. Hurry, girls. Before the food gets cold, I can't wait to eat. Girls, Crystal Star, Uptown Girl, Daisy. Daddy, that, that, that. Hi, Daddy, I'm here. Hold on, I just want to skateboard a little bit more. I just got the skateboard, so I really want to skateboard. Coming, coming. Mom, did you make me eggs? For some reason, I want eggs, even though I already had eggs for breakfast. So weird, right? Present, I'm here. Ooh, something smells really good, Mom. I don't know how Mom does it every dinner time, but she manages to cook all of our favorite meals all the time. Oh, and it all smells so good. I kind of want a piece of yours. You can have some of mine if you give me some of yours. Deal! Deal! That's one of the good things about having siblings is that you can share food and stuff together. Don't you guys agree? Give this video a like if you do. Your mom has worked really hard on this dinner tonight, so let's enjoy it and really appreciate her hard work. Just look at how many dishes your mom made and how good all the dishes look. Your mom made this dinner which is so much love. Yay, mommy! You're the bestest! Whee! Whee, 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 whee. Mommy, look! I can cheer for you and also skateboard with just one leg. Ta-da! Daisy, come on, stop skating around. It's dinner time. We have to eat dinner before it gets cold. And did you hear what dad was saying? Let's appreciate mom's hard work by really eating the food that she made for us. Daisy! Just a little bit longer. I'm skateboarding. <laughs> one foot. <laughs> Dad, Daisy never listens to me. She's still skateboarding around and it's dinner time. Daisy, why are you skateboarding in the kitchen? You know you're not allowed to skateboard in the kitchen. Not yet. Just a little longer. Just eat first without me. 
I'm gonna skate for just a little longer, jeez! How are we supposed to focus and eat with you skateboarding back and forth? And besides, you're not even supposed to be skateboarding inside the house. Mom, Dad, are you gonna let her get away with this? Yeah, she's still skateboarding and I told her to stop. She's always doing everything that she wants and she never listens to anyone. Mom, you should ground her for skateboarding in the kitchen. Dad, take away her bedtime story for tonight. Daisy, sweetheart, it's dinner time. Please put your skateboard away. It's time for a family meal now. Princess, why don't you put your skateboard away and you can skateboard some more after dinner. Let us all eat first. Can I have cake or ice cream if I have dinner now? I think it should be okay. Right, Mom? Daisy can have some ice cream after dinner? Mmm, sweets before bedtime does get you extra energetic. But if you come for dinner, then sure, honey. You can have a little bit of ice cream after dinner. But only if you eat your vegetables. Ew, I don't want no vegetables. Not coming. What? Mom, Dad, why are you being so nice? Aren't you going to take away her bedtime story or ground her or give her any punishment? She's skateboarding in the kitchen. I can't believe my sister gets away with everything. Does that happen in your family? Sometimes I feel like because Daisy is our little sister and she's the youngest, she's like mom and dad's favorite child. Well, I feel that way too. She gets away with everything. Do you guys have that problem? Does your sibling get away with everything? And our parents rarely ever punish her for anything. She can do anything that she wants. Does this happen in your household? If it does too, then at least let us know so we don't feel so alone by pressing that like button and subscribing so that you can watch more of our family. Daisy, dinner is not optional. You can't have dinner whenever you want it. Now I, yes I can. Dinner is right now. Stop skateboarding. <laughs> no, you can't make me. And it's dangerous. You might run into mom. Na 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 na, I can't hear you. Come on, sweetheart, Daisy, please. It's time for dinner. Put your skateboard away, please. Okay, well, let me bring the broccolis over. Oh no, mommy, watch out! <laughs> oh no, sweetheart, are you okay? And the vegetables, the vegetables! Are there any left? Oh my goodness, Daisy, are you okay, sweetheart? Are you hurt anywhere? <laughs> This was exactly what I was talking about. This is why we don't skateboard in the kitchen. Something like this was bound to happen. Mom, are you okay? And you shouldn't be coddling her like that. She should be in trouble for skateboarding and running into you. Oh no, are you okay? Is, is everyone okay? Or is anyone hurt? Oh my goodness, I knew this would happen. I called it. I knew she shouldn't be skateboarding around the house. I said it was dangerous. And look what happened. She skateboarded right into mom. And, well, I guess it's kind of a good thing. No vegetables, but oh my goodness. <laughs> and don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. Shh, it's okay. It's okay, sweetheart. Are you okay anywhere? It's okay, you can tell mommy if you're hurt. Are you okay, sweetie? <laughs> I'm okay, mommy, but I fell down my skateboard. I know, I know, but as long as you're not hurt anywhere. See, this is why we don't skateboard in the kitchen. Well, I'm just glad that you're okay. <laughs> Are you okay, mommy? <gasps> How unfair is that? Mom, stop coddling her. You should be scolding her right now. Well, thank goodness everyone is okay and no one is hurt. I'm just glad that we're all okay. What? None of our parents are mad at Daisy? Seriously, our little sister gets away with everything. Well, now do you know why we don't skateboard inside the house, Daisy? It can be very dangerous. <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. Well, promise you won't skateboard inside the house again in the future? Yeah, Mommy. I promise I won't skateboard inside the house again in the future. You sure? Promise? Uh-huh. I promise I won't skateboard inside the house anymore, Mommy. I'm sorry. Okay, well that's my good girl. Now let's go over there and have some dinner.
Ugh, so unfair. Yeah, this is so unfair. Okay, I better clean this up. Luckily, we still have some broccoli left. We still have some vegetables, even though a bunch are on the ground. I'm gonna have to wipe the floor. It is like the workload never ends in this house. <sighs> Come here, princess. Come to daddy. Daddy! I was skateboarding and then I actually bumped into mom and I fell right here and it hurts a little. <laughs> and then all the veggies are falling on the floor. Well, we'll punish that skateboard for making you fall later. And after dinner, Daddy will give you an extra scoop of ice cream. Extra ice cream? Yay, Daddy! You're the bestest! Dad, you're not supposed to reward her for being bad. She just skateboarded inside the house and knocked into Mom and kind of ruined dinner. And you're going to give her an extra scoop of ice cream? How is she ever going to learn her lesson? Oh, I think your sister has learned her lesson. Right, honey? You told mommy you wouldn't skateboard inside the house anymore? Uh-huh. I won't skateboard inside the house anymore. I promise. I learned my lesson. Can I get another scoop of ice cream? I want three scoops of ice cream, please, please, please. Oh, this is madness. My little sister is so spoiled. You can have some desserts after you eat dinner and also eat your vegetables, which I managed to preserve some. I work really hard to work on your nutrition, girl, so I hope everybody eats their vegetables tonight. Ah, here you go. Okay, okay, let's all finally eat our dinner now. It's starting to get real cold. Mm, but mommy, I don't want to eat this. I want to eat my favorite noodles with, with the soup, soup, soup stuff. I don't want to have rice tonight. I don't want to eat this. I'm not going to eat it. <sighs> I knew this was going to happen, so I did make you your favorite noodles just in case. Here you go, sweetie. Yay! Yay! Noodles! 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 I don't want to eat anything but yummy noodles. Mom, you spoil her too much. You already made such an amazing dinner for us. And she went and kind of ruined it by skateboarding into you. You didn't punish her. And you even made her her very own noodle soup. Uh, you're just giving her everything she wants. You're spoiling her, mom. Oh, honey, you might not remember this. But when you were younger, you were like this too. And it's just a phase. Eventually, as you grow, you mature and you grew out of it. She's still just a little child. When she grows older and she can understand more, we'll teach her more. But right now, we just have to be a little bit more patient. You were like this when you were younger too, sweetie. I remember being this spoiled when I was younger. Well, I guess there's no point arguing. I might as well just eat my food before it gets too cold. Mmm, mmm, so good. The meat is so tender and just melts in your mouth. Mmm, mm, yum. Oh, I'm going to grab some more eggs. So good. Oh, it's so good. Mom, how is your doctor's appointment today? Mm, mm, mm. Oh, yeah, you went to see the doctor today. How was it? I was there too. It was boring because I was there for so long. But I met a new friend. I also saw some cute babies. And there was a lot of people at the hospital today. It was really crowded. <sighs> this is so good, Mommy. <sighs> oh, yes. Yeah. Speaking of which, I have amazing news for our family. Okay, is everyone ready? I want to share with you all the big news. Wait, wait, wait. Let me eat a little first. It's been such a busy day running to the hospital, cleaning the house, and then taking your sister to run errands. I barely had time to eat all day. Mmm. This is really good. My cooking is incredible. Okay, ready? Oh, right, about that. How was your appointment today, honey? Is everything okay? 
Everything is great. Everything cannot get any better. The news is, I'm pregnant. We're going to be having another baby. Uh, what now? Say what? Mm, yes, yes, isn't that exciting? Our family is growing some more now. I'm having another baby. You're going to be having another baby sister or a baby brother. Yay, I'm going to have a little baby brother or sister to play with? Yes, sweetheart, you will. There's a newborn baby brother or baby sister growing inside mommy's stomach right now. And in a few more months, you'll have another sibling to play with and our family will be growing bigger. Whoa, another baby? I mean, I mean, that's fantastic, but I feel like we're going to need to look at a bigger house. I'm speechless. I think my head just exploded. What? Girls, isn't this just great news? Aren't you excited? <laughs> you know, this might be a good thing. Yeah, Mom, we Very are so excited. excited. Yay! Why are you so excited, little sister? If anyone, you should be the least excited because you won't be the youngest anymore. Yep, once the baby comes out, you'll become the middle child with me. <gasps> And you won't get away with everything anymore. <gasps> and when you're not the youngest, you don't get to be as spoiled as you are now. Look, mom and dad are already spoiling the newborn baby that's coming. Honey, you've had such a long day. And since now you're pregnant, maybe we don't have to read Daisy a bedtime story tonight. You should go rest early. That way you'll be fresh and ready for tomorrow. Aw, thanks honey. Maybe I should. It, it has been a long day. Yeah, you should rest more. I'll put Daisy to bed. Okay, thanks, honey. <laughs> no! I don't want a new baby sister and new baby brother. I want to be the favorite. I don't want mommy and daddy to spoil me. No! Press that subscribe button and ring the bell. That way, when a video is released, you'll be the first to watch it. Watch more of my toy videos by going to the search button and pressing in Minky Toys and Dolls or just Minky Toys. Lots of fun doll videos for you here.